and a half. It's beyond six minutes. This is normally where you'd see your mid at level six if they're doing well. So Dendi, yeah, free farming away, but hasn't got the XP. He has got stacks to fall back on, which are likely to happen soon. He can fall back, take the stacks, give the mid lane to the Phoenix. Looks like they attempted to go to kill Nartizi, but slightly this, bubbled it. This is risky, because now Dendi, well, this looks like this could be your first blood secret. They're ready to capitalize on that. We talked about it early. Yeah, I was talked about by the panel. They're the kind of team that's going to capitalize on these mistakes. Yeah, that was a misdive. The flame break didn't quite push the Invoker in the direction he was hoping for. General and top, considering going for a kill, but doesn't go for the, the leap I in. He needs to be careful as well, because Secret, as soon as they've done that kill on the mid, they head back towards the top. Envy's got an Omni if he needs to use it, and he's going to pop it. No point where I'm kind of messing around there. Another clean kill for Secret. One of these cores with a Phoenix Sunray. Or with a Mirana oh, arrow. Mid. They can make a go with this boat. If they can go close the gap with a good bounce or two, so then you get the last one, they get it. The flame break back, bringing Artor into the reaches of Dendi, and it's a clean pick off for Na'Vi. Yeah. They actually give Ortsal a lot of experience prioritization here, hitting level six at eight minutes into the game. Hey, Dendi's not there. Why isn't he jungling this camp? Does he have his blink dagger yet? And Absolutely. having just got the kill at mid, it's very likely that he's about to hit his blink dagger timing. I can see that they're trying to make a go here with this vision that they placed down earlier with the earlier movement. And they're going to find the initiation with the finger, ensuring that they get themselves the kill. Um, to close the gap and get that kill onto general, maybe it'll happen again for secret. As they just keep that vision deep over the side of, of Na'Vi's map. Other item timings, just before the 12 minute mark, Artur finished off his Midas. You're looking at Universe, 1500 gold towards the Blink Deck uh, mid lane. Dijirar comes in with the Chrono, locking down onto Envy. They've dropped the Death Ward as well with the Maledict, but he put it in the Chronos. The initial few touches one there doesn't matter because they do finally bring down Envy on his jug. Only Jess, the final touch of the Death Ward, bringing him down. But uh, yeah, Na'Vi needed that, and, and there we have it, the first Chrono, and used to great success to, to take down the enemy core. Dijera very much just the fact he spent so much time farming in the bottom lane was really just throwing secret off. And look at this as well. Too, yeah, yeah. Dendi, this is the classic kind of play for Navi. They keep the ball rolling, they find one kill, they look for a second, and as you said, you know, Dendi finding the positioning, ready to jump in. They scanned it though. Oh. They know exactly what's going on. Oh, this could be a little bit a little bit true. We're gonna see 40 minutes away. There's a good room, but oh, it's a double damage bottom. Oh, who's going to grab that? That's going to be fantastic oh. for this Roche fight. But Death Roche is falling everything. quick with the Amplifier. Let's see what Pike can do to hold it off. Dijirar jumps in. Looking to take down the line first. With a finger comes out. They've already lost the Witch Doctor. Pike will be taken down in turn. Dijirar, can he play his way around this? He's still got the DD, but he hasn't got a Chrono for 20 seconds. And Roche has already down. Arteezy gets the Aegis. A uh, bit more space to play around with the Moonlight. 4-4, 15 minutes in. Secret. You know, with the, the most recent bit of an edge, thanks to that Roche. What universe blinking in onto Suneko. There's your Sunstrike from RTZ. Which is great, but they haven't been successful so far. Yeah, see down bottom, Dendi. For an opening, the Moonlight Shadow has been used to give him a chance to close this gap, but Secret already on the retreat out. Doesn't matter, Dendi jumps in, grabs out Puppy, the Starfall, the nuke damage. Is it going to be enough to burst this man down? Bringing him back in the Sunray, but it looks like the heal. No, it's, it can't. No, surely not. No, Sunray, of course it won't. <laughs> Comes through, will take down Puppy. Well, top though, DJRF forced to defensively Chrono just to keep himself alive. I think they might have caught the edge of that Pike. Secret. Oh. Let's see. Uh, if they can get the wraparound onto Pi, I mean, at the least, maybe they can get a Lion kill. No, immediately, oh, the stun and the blink away, Pi. He was ready for that one. And they're not going to be able to catch him by the looks of it. No, okay, unless Ditcher wants to commit Chrono, he will. No messing around from Na'Vi. They'll drop the Chrono Sphere for Pi. Now they will get the kill. Not a Dendi, again, looking for more. Grabs Na'Vi, he's bringing him back. Can they get away with this one? The Supernova coming out. Ditcher closing in. The Bash is there on Na'Vi. He's falling low. He's going to get bashed again. Is he going to go down? Yes, he's going to be caught out by the Supernova stun. They'll get Arteezy as well. And Na'Vi and Suneko flying in. The bounces, the cast, the Maledict's down. Now with the Death Ward, bumbling into Poppy. Can Na'Vi find more here? Ditcher caught out of space, out next to the tower. He can't chase for anything more. Puppy will Puppy. get himself. Is, is, is the heal going to be enough? Now the heal should be enough. Only just. But Na'Vi there, again, doing what we saw them play earlier, where they get one kill instantly. Dendi's already in position, looking for the next one. Yeah. I'm probably going to curse General. Yeah, he's going to walk Classic caster's curse like, it. He didn't farm at the tower, <laughs> and then now, now he Now he comes up. out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, leap, leap, friend. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey! That was a beautiful stun. I think Pi was a little bit surprised himself that he hit that one, and uh, he's actually going to pay off his life here. He's gone. Yeah. I <laughs> and Dichirak has certainly punched back. But we'll see what kind of opening secret get here. Up and around towards the mid, the ping's coming out. They're very much smoking around this level 3 Omni Slash timing, but... Yeah. 
not finding any targets initially. Yeah, they were, ooh, straight away, look, they tried to jump oh, in back onto Pike. Pike got the blink out in time, and now yeah, Universe catching out Arstal, the Sun Strike as well. Arstal being burst to low, but he keeps himself alive. The Supernova coming out. Now Secret have got to be careful. Envy Blade Fury trying to get himself away. Puppy's being dragged back into the Supernova Rage, and now the Summary comes through. RTZ taking down Puppy as well. They've lost three secret, maybe make that four as Ditcher in general chasing down the juggernaut. The bash has come through. They'll find one. Can they kill him a second time here? The arrow timing. Oh, it's nothing less than perfect from general. Triple kill for Ditcher and secret with a smoke that ended up going absolutely disastrously. Uh, just great reactions there from Na'Vi. Is on his own. General needs to be a little bit careful up on this top lane. He's coming very far out and uh, indeed. Universe jumps in, gets the initial crush, and with this amount of lockdown, there's no way the Secret can fluff this one up. And they won't. They'll get the kill onto the Mirana. Yeah, General's just coming a little bit too far out there on the top lane. Bottom lane, there is a Chronosphere and Arteezy. What's he doing here? He's, he's, he's very much dead. So, I mean, whereas General makes one blunder, it's your uh, Invoker, your mid laner for Secret, making the blunder in return. If you're Secret, you're like, okay, we see them around the top, no one else is on the map. Those four heroes can be anywhere. And here we have it, Arteez, he's walked into it and straight away, they jump forward, they should have to, they, do they not? Yeah, they do. Okay, here we go, they've got the vision down, they'll take him, they'll find it with a gem on Dendi, it's an easy pick off onto Arteez once again. And the rest of Secret just bailing out of there. They know that they, you know, but Universe and Pi, they can't do anything to them. They're still mid. I mean, at, at what point, well, if you are Na'Vi, do you look to try and push onto the tier threes? It'll, it'll probably happen quite soon. For General, you can see he's firing arrows over the tree. Oh, he's he finds them. Universe. <laughs> I don't know if you can follow this one through. In fact, well, he is. Blixy leaps in. He's going for oh. the kill onto Uni. Backup's going to be there as well with the Sunray. Dendi blinking forward and General. What a player. A, so you good. know, General Marana, boys and girls. General Marana. He needs to get back, or that he needs to go for the split push at bottom. Oh but my goodness, he does. Arteezy's also, they're going both heroes down bottom lane, almost as if they're going to try and go for a trade. I mean, do they just let this fall? I mean, at the moment, it feels like that's what Secret are doing, and Dendi jumps in onto Puppy. He's going to drag him into the rest of his side. Universe gets the crush up onto Ditra, but General jumps in with a burst of the star for the Enchantress is gone. And Na'Vi continue to pan away the tier 3. Arteezy desperately... Looking to split push here down on the bottom lane. Na'Vi, they don't care for the time being because they're pushing harder. They're onto the racks. There'll be a buyback from Puppy. Envy jumping in with the Omnisash. Nice crush as well. Figure on to Denny. Denny's got Sineko. Gets the judge. Get the supernova. Ditra with a chrono on to two. Universe has gone pie as well. Ditra is going to be able to find Envy as well as the supernova stun cuts through. Jackie's dead. Puppy's on his way back to base. This would be a dieback if he goes down, but it looks like he'll be fine. Ditra hasn't got the punch to fight for Untouchable, but nonetheless, Secret losing three. Bottom lane. Arteezy continuing to try and push forward on this bottom, but he's got to get himself out. And Na'Vi get, get away with that. Na'Vi. Then General Top counter push the lane and then TP and rejoin his team. But when he TPs to rejoin his team, he needs to try and make sure that they are committing to a fight. Yeah, TP, I want to try and go for has got He's got Universe coming in as well. They could certainly go for an attempt on to General. He'll throw out the uh, arrow, but it's not going to give him any vision, of course, on this Shadow Bladed Slardon. Here we have it. Crush into the combo. General, can he save himself from this one? Oh my goodness, he has. Because here's the backer from Dichirar coming in with the chrono. The arrow onto Arto, and there's your summary burning down onto Universe. Na'Vi hitting back hard. The backup is there for General, and what looked like an easy kill for Secret. Well, Na'Vi said, no, we play as a team. And they, they, again, they just absolutely... A lot of individual players sometimes working together. Like, you've got two players trying to work together there, but they're not looking at the big picture of Na'Vi are ready for that. Like, they have a response to that play, which just works out so well for them. Envy. Oh, all these cast bounces. Ah, oh, a little unlucky here for the side of Na'Vi. If they bounce back over to Envy, maybe. Uh, he did have the blade theory, and uh, he will get himself out. Ditra are continuing to chase. Not thrown out for 50 seconds, but oh, Dendi's there. Oh, Pai tried to dump it, but instantly Ditra bashes him down, turns towards him, he takes down a second. Artstar with a double kill. And again, I can't remember the last time we saw a good bit of action for Secret this game. Every single time Slada, Lion, has gone for a pickoff, Na'Vi are using these boots of travels. They're TPing in, they're backing each other up. They're already prepped. And that was something Secret did well in the early game, where they backed up Arteezy, baited Arteezy, and it's Navi's using that exact same strategy. Oh, they caught Dijirai, Tornado, EMP in the finger. They found one. Can they find themselves anything more? They need to, Secret, if they want to continue to hold. The buyback's there from Envy. Puppy starting to move forward, but Navi already backing out. Great burst damage. Didn't let get off the cheese. Look at this. Hanging around for the high ground. They're going to go in with the Supernova. Envy's going to play for you. Start to punch down on the egg. They should be able to move. Oh, the Chronos Man! Dijirai! Coming in in time. They've already lost two secret. Envy's going to be in a lot of trouble. It gets the on the out, but it might not matter because Puppy 
Falling low, connects to anything here while Universe is coming with a four-man crush, looking onto Ditchera, but it, that puppy is in so much trouble here, getting bursted down by all the magical powers of General on his Marana, Universe forcing himself back up. But again, just this play, and in a position where it looked like they were just about to take down the Phoenix Egg, Ditchera just coming in at the last millisecond with that Chronosphere, and Navia back in, pushing into the Tier 3, ready to break the base, and you just got to ask yourself, how are Secret stopping this one? At this point, their two carries don't have buyback. They try and initiate a fight. Oh, they're going with a crush, Envy. They're going to close down onto Ditcherak. Can they bring down this man? Oh, no! Snapped in return. It was a, uh, a Lotus oh, Orb under the cold snap. The Lotus yeah. Orb. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, let's see how this pans off. Indeed, if, if Ditcherak is going to be able to, to cheese himself. Let's see if he's ready to get me. Yeah, there we are. Lovely bit of cheese. And with the Death Ward on the sidelines, it's a level 16 Aghanim's Ward. Secret, three dead. No buybacks available. General coming in. Nearly killing Envy in the base there with another beautiful arrow. Oh, he's, he's still trying to he's go for it. For it. <laughs> he's like, come on. I got axe. <laughs> oh, man. General just playing with Secret in the base. At this point, I mean, Secret, they're going to have Puppy back up in 15, but there's no universe, no pie for a 45 seconds, 65 respectively. And they're onto the base, Navi. Pi jumping in. Gets the hex off, but then he's there. Oh, style as well. They'll find themselves Pylite die. Envy's going to go down as well. And GG is called Na'Vi. 32 to 11.